dead. There's going to be a lot of fights. A lot of fights. There's going to be a lot of fights. Because we're about to see who the true superhero is. Hello there, my flaw. Hey. The Bad Raven here with the man, the myth, the legend. Drew Drop. Drew Drop. What are we doing today, Drew Drop? Hey, Dad. Dad, there's going to be a lot of fights. A lot of fights? There's going to be a lot of fights. Because we're about to see who the true superhero is. You want to know why? Why? Because today we are watching Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Yay. I got my Dragon Ball Z shirt here with Piccolo and Gohan on there. There's Piccolo. Gohan right there. Because this is a Gohan and Piccolo focused movie. I cannot wait to watch this watch this film. We are back at the Tri-County Simplex like usual. Mm -hmm. Them showing the anime movies coming through again. But yeah, I can't wait to go ahead and jump right on into this. Unfortunately though, I did get spoiled on one thing in the movie. I'm not going to say it on here because this is a spoiler free review before and after review exactly. of the movie and I'm not going to spoil it even though if you're a Dragon Ball fan you probably have already either either seen the spoiler or know about it. Well, I cannot wait to watch this movie. I mean Gohan has been put on the back burner for way too long now. It's cool to see him come back and just kick some butt. Especially Piccolo. I mean Piccolo Coming, uh, coming back is a really big thing to see because we haven't seen Piccolo in action since like the Boo Saga. Well, I cannot wait to see what happens. My dad has no idea. I'm lost. My dad's a newcomer. He has not seen any Dragon Ball films whatsoever. Like literally, he is all lost. Through, no, I don't think I've seen him. <laughs> you know, you're not seeing like I think you see bits and pieces of the Broly movie, mm. but I don't think you've actually seen the full Broly movie. And I just rewatched the Broly movie uh, today. And the movie, that previous uh, movie was really, really good. So I hope that this one's just going to be just as good, if not better. And I know that there's a big, I guess, controversy about it because of Goku not really being in it that much. From what I've heard, he's barely in it. Well, that's, gonna, that's a big risk that this movie's taken. And a lot of people don't even know this movie's coming out, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I can't wait to see what the, the new androids are going to do. Game of 1 and 2 look really, really cool. We'll have our pictures up there and the English voice actors. Because we are watching this dubbed in English to, uh, as well. So we cannot wait to go ahead and jump in to this movie. So we're going to go ahead and go in there and go ahead and watch this movie. So what, you got anything else to say, Bad Raven? No, I just want to tell you we're going to come back out and give her our spoiler-free review of it. So All right. Stick around for that. <laughs> yeah. We, me and my dad are going instant transmission into there and watch it. We'll be right back. Right. See you on the other side. Okay, we're hey. back. Hey, wait a minute. Where's the car? Where is the car at? We just we 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 jumped out of the car. How did we get back in the bad <laughs> rain? How how did we get here? I don't under, I don't know how we got here. No, honest. actually, we uh, had filmed a different portion of this in the car, but the Drew Drop decided that he wanted to do a different yeah. ending. We're gonna be re filming this part. Because I have a lot, my opinion has changed since the... Yeah, this is a few days after. This is a few days after the premiere. And because I, I, I'm updating my opinion because my opinion was not valid during the original shoot. So we are, I decided to go ahead and change it. But. Okay, uh, do you want to go first with your thoughts of the movie? Well, uh, I want to go first with my thoughts on the movie since I'm the Dragon Ball ex expert. But before I get started... Supreme Kai Time fans, rise up. I, lo I love this woman right here. She's awesome. Anyways. It's future wife. <laughs> and, and the voice actress, if you're watching this, I hope I meet you someday. <laughs> Anyways, this movie was really, really good. It was really, really great. I thought that Gohan uh, did a, was awesome in this movie. If you are a Gohan fan, you are going to love this film. Because it has them all in there and everything. And if you are especially a fan of the Piccolo and Gohan kind of duo thing, you are absolutely going to love this movie too because Piccolo, even though he's not Gohan's dad, of course, Gohan's dad is Goku, even though he's not his dad, he's kind of like a father figure for for Gohan and kind of like that, his well, who, who he looks up to. And if you really like to see that, you're really going to like this movie because Piccolo is awesome. 
Piccolo was really, really cool in this movie. He was really, really funny a lot. He was really, really funny, cracking jokes here and there. A lot of humor. A lot of humor in this movie. This is a fun movie. This is just this is one of those movies where it's like, oh, you just you have fun. It's a good adventure. It's a good movie. It's not like the Broly movie. It's not ambitious like the Broly movie was. The Broly movie was more like trying to be like, oh, let's see how let's how let's see how much we can just stretch. How big they were like going crazy. I, we're not gonna get another movie like the Broly movie for a very long time. I know that for a fact because that movie was just ridiculous. This movie is just a fun, really good, short, fun movie. It's a really short movie, but it's a really good, fun movie. Uh, the Gammas were really, really cool. Gamma 2 was my favorite of the two androids that did get introduced in this film. And also, I'm not going to spoil it in this video, of course, but there is a secret person that does appear in this movie that is really, really cool. And there are definitely a lot of fight scenes and the, the fights are great, of course, like Dragon Ball standards. Let's just say the ending, the, the climax of the movie, you're going to be like having chills. Cause I still get chills when I watch it. I've seen this movie three times already. <laughs> I've seen this movie three times already. And I absolutely just love the climax. It is absolutely great. And it really does utilize the CG really, really well. Uh, even though it did take me a little bit of time to get used to because... When I first watched the movie, I to be honest, I thought it was good, but I didn't think it was anything special. Special. That's why I, it was kind of like thrown off by it. That's why my opinion has changed. Looking at it now, I kind of see what they were going for. I get what they were doing, and it really worked. I think it worked really, really well. Now, do I think that CGI should be the standard for here on out? I mean, if they want to do it, they can do it. But I know that a lot of fans, there's a whole controversy right now saying it should just go back to 2D. I'm not going to get into that. I thought the CGI was done really, really well for the movie. Okay, I'm like I told you at the beginning, so I won't rehash it. I don't know Dragon Ball. I know some of the characters. I like this movie. It wasn't as intense as some of the other stuff I've seen uh, that Drew Grove no, likes. Yes. And I think that we have made us have some more conversations. I think it was a good family movie. I mean, I thought that the... Oh, a the good family movie. Inner, inner workings of Gohan's family and the Piccolo a father-son type relationship, even though they weren't father and son, was really neat the way they pulled that off. I th and mm -hmm. I like I the humor. It was. I thought it was just enough to be have fun with it and not get too ridiculous I like the the two new characters Gamma 1 Gamma 2 I liked I liked the 3D animation I not because I'm not a purist I'm not like the true exactly. drop I didn't grow up with this stuff even though it's probably happened in my lifetime I just never had watched it before so I thought it was just looked like neat art to me I mean like it was up to date and that's gonna affect my dad it. as much so I understand I'm not speaking for the whole Dragon Ball clan. I'm just speaking for me. I I'm no, I'm not a true fan because I don't believe that. But I know, I just, I just like the movie. I like the way that they they used all the characters. I like the way the action was set up. Mm -hmm. uh, I just like the general story. And I just felt like it was well worth uh, watching. Oh yeah, it's definitely worth a watch, guys. It is really, really great. Now, there is there is actually going to be a lot of scenes that a lot of Dragon Ball fans are going to like, especially some fan service scenes, especially with the Bulma character. If you are a fan of that character, you are absolutely going to love a particular scene of this movie. I'm not going to spoil it, of course, but it's great, uh, it's great for you guys that are fans of her character. But overall, the soundtrack was good. The CGI was good. A really blast, blast time to watch. Really fun time. So I'll have to say, just go see it for my rating. Go ahead and see it, guys, while it's out in theaters. And, oh yeah, before I get done, the English dub was amazing. Everybody did amazing with their voice roles. And that's all they're showing here at Tri-County now is the English dub because, I mean, some people ain't as grippy as some other people, you know, when it comes to subtitle versus dub. I'm not going to get into that, but, yeah, like, the dub was really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, my hat's off to all the voice actors. The I voice actors they, all did I think good. they pulled it off, and I think they made a really good, likable movie. 
I think, uh, mm-hmm. it's, you know, it may be what some people might consider more of a fluff episode for Dragon Ball, but I think, or movie, but I think it was well done. And I think you don't have to have the worst case scenario happen in all these movies of world domination, yeah. <laughs> which I always aim for world domination. But I think it was really cool just to have a neat little story about mm-hmm. the character. And I didn't talk about it. The little girl in it was cute. I don't even know what Pan. Pan. And, cool. and I thought that was all well done. I like to say, I would say just go see it also, just like the Drew Drop. If you're out and you want to take the family to see it, you won't be disappointed because there's not anything bad that they, unless they just don't like, you don't want to watch uh, action, you know, that's got plenty of action. Now, just to keep in mind, you can go into this movie without knowing much about Dragon Ball. It's, it's not yeah, confusing. I'm a key to that. My dad has not watched a single episode of any of the series, and he understood what was going on in the movie, and he really liked the movie, even without having to see a single movie, other movie, mm. or anything else. Because he hasn't no, watched the Broly movie, he hasn't watched any of that, and he liked the I just knew a handful of the characters. First part of the movie, that may be the only song part because they have to kind of like they kind of have to step you into things. what's going on and that's where they kind of clue in all the people that don't know what's going on mm-hmm. if you make if you get past the first part of just the understanding how this all came about you'll be fine then the movie kicks off really well oh yes the movie it's just one of those movies like but here's the thing i think i think when it comes to dra- dragon ball fans judging this movie it's hard for us to it's hard for us to look at it with a with this kind of scope because the Broly movie was so ambitious. I think that's the reason why even I kind of didn't grasp onto it as much when I first watched it because it's not like the Broly movie. The Broly movie was like, it literally took them like years to make that movie. That movie was just, I don't know why they went that hard on that movie, but they went ridiculous on that movie. And it's just not like the Broly movie. It's not that grand scale of a movie. Even though it's not grand scale, it is still a fun time, and it was absolutely a blast. It's just a blast, and it's probably the funnest anime movie I've ever seen. I am not even going to lie to you, this is definitely the most fun I've ever had watching a Dragon Ball movie, or any type of anime movie in the theater. Everybody was just having a good time in that theater. So the general consensus of it, just you need to go out and watch this. You need to go watch it. That's all I need to say. So you got anything else to say? That's all I got to say. We just uh, like to say thank you for watching the videos here on the Bad Raven channel. Me and the Drew Drop would really like you to share this video, subscribe, and show it to all your friends, and tell everybody we're on our road to a thousand subscribers. And we would really like to, anyone to that wants to subscribe that hasn't subscribed and watches our stuff, go ahead and subscribe so we can <laughs> get to that. Go and check out our new merch. I got T Public now. T Public is making my shirts, and I, I'm gonna put them link in the description of all my different items there put down in the comment section what kind of shirt you'd like to have you would like yeah. to, would you like to have a drew drop shirt we would be glad to offer up mm-hmm. any type of merchandise that you want and with that being said remember that the bad raven is your friend and we really appreciate you here on the bad raven channel and from the drew drop, drew drop. and the bad raven we're gonna let you go and we'll talk at you later and drew drop out goodbye